When you tear out a man's tongue, you're not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. Funny how the people who love to use that quote are now trying to tear out George R. R. Martin's tongue. George R. R. Martin pissed off all the usual suspects on the right by kind of stating the truth. In a recent blog post, Martin talked about his dismay over the current state of the world, with the wars, the coming U.S. presidential election, the political divide, and the deaths of several of his favorite creators. He said that he took solace in many things, especially books, films, and TV shows, but that even there, the toxicity is growing. Quote, it used to be fun talking about our favorite books and films, and having spirited debates with fans who saw things different. But somehow, in this age of social media, it is no longer enough to say, I did not like book X or film Y, and here's why. Now social media is ruled by anti-fans, who would rather talk about the stuff they hate than the stuff they love, and delight in dancing in the graves of anyone whose film has flopped. It's all so sad. If I had seen this a couple of years ago, I would have disagreed, and said this was nothing more than Martin peddling a toxic fandom narrative. However, since the pandemic, and especially over the course of 2023, my opinion has changed. What really did it was a response to Picard Season 3, and how people like Doomcock and mostly right-wingers copped the attitude that the season couldn't be good. Not that it wasn't possible for it to be good, but that it shouldn't be good. That it shouldn't be allowed to be good. That the show, the Star Trek franchise, and the entertainment industry as a whole can't be allowed to get better. It must remain bad because reasons. No actual reasons were given, but the implication seemed to be that it would break their narrative that Hollywood sucks if the shows and the movies stop sucking. This runs completely counter to their position of wanting the good old days back. How can you get back those great films and shows if you never give anyone a chance to make them? It's almost like they don't believe the things they say they believe. A similar thing happened with The Last of Us, where the people who said they wanted proper adaptations got exactly that and hated it. These same people spent years complaining about how gay characters were shoved into stories and how the stories were all about their sexuality and had no substance. But when they got not one but two episodes presenting gay characters as complex people defined by their character and not their sexuality, they hated it. These same people claimed they had no problem with not being the target audience for movies or shows or games, but then lost their minds over the Barbie movie because it wasn't made for them, was exactly as advertised, and didn't bomb like they expected. Martin is right that there doesn't seem to be any joy in what many of these people do outside of clapping when another movie tanks at the box office, or supporting a film because they think it'll own the left, or becoming unbelievably silent when their friends make the same kind of terrible stories they criticize all the time. Now, before anyone says it, yes, I know I've made hundreds of videos criticizing shows, movies, and books. In fact, I've made more videos about the stuff I don't like than the stuff that I do. That said, what you won't find are videos where it's just me bitching about SJWs or wokeness or fucking pronouns with no substance. I don't just talk about what I don't like. I talk about why I don't like it and how I think it could be fixed. My reasons aren't just because it's woke. That's the difference between me and most of the popular anti-woke critics and one of the reasons why my videos have never been that popular. It's not just me complaining about the woke left or playing to right-wing identity politics. I'm not doing it for clicks or because it's trending or because I'm trying to stick it to the commies. I'm doing this because these are the things I actually like and I don't like how these stories are being treated by the various industries. There's nothing wrong with pointing out that a lot of the movies, shows, books, comics, games, and music coming out today just aren't that good. There's a lack of vitality, passion, and basic creativity in so much of what comes out. Far too many people with control over these properties and industries are more interested in their political agendas than telling a good story. They're so obsessed with it that they don't even realize that they could actually get their agenda across if they told a good story. That's perfectly fine to point out. However, when the argument becomes claiming that the left, literally every left-leaning person on the planet, is incapable of creating anything and has never been creative, to the point that you're now trying to claim that Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, was actually conservative, you've lost the plot. When you're complaining about how you can't see your values in the media you consume, and you don't realize that's literally the same as you saying you need to see yourself reflected in the media, you've lost the plot. When you actually lose your mind at the mere presence of black, female, gay, or trans characters, and nothing else has happened, they're just there, you've lost the plot. 
and copying an attitude and attacking Martin for calling this out only proves him right, that these people take pleasure out of not liking things, and are more about sticking it to the other side than actually enjoying any of this stuff. And people are free to do that. I'm not saying that they can't, or that I too don't like to partake in a player hater's ball. My player hater's game is always on point. What I am saying is that there's got to be something more to it than that, and that it's got to be better than just not liking the politics of the other side. You don't have to take my word for it. Just look at how all those entertainment industries destroyed themselves playing that game. It didn't work for them. It's probably not going to work out for the right. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.